kids, it's good old steak and chips night tonight. So uh, my steak is just resting on the pan. I've got my frozen veg cooking away. And the chips I did, keep this hint in mind. I was going out, so I popped them on 150 for about two hours. And I've come home and they are perfectly done. So I guess think that through of going, what can I put on, you know, even chopping these up if you've got five minutes before you need to leave for school pickup. Or, um, you know, hubby's getting home two hours earlier than you from work. Can he just whack them in the oven for you? I love doing that. And now I'm moving on to the veggie loaded sauce that we're going to have. So I make this a lot. I don't always make it with um, roasted red capsicum. Sometimes I'll put them in the oven on the same tray. It's just that, you know, we've been using this um, in our other recipes in the meal plan. So I'm all about using it up. Make sure when you are making it though, is that I find that a meatier nut works better. My favorite is almond. I love walnuts. Pecans are kind of sweet. Um, Brazil are brilliant. I find cashews are okay. Um, and macadamias are okay. But because you're pairing it with, you know, a meat dish, you want it to kind of hold up and be meaty. Um, so I find they're really great. I've also done this exact same recipe in here. I'm just chucking in the red peppers with roasted carrots. I've done it with just tomatoes. I find that um, when they've been cooked in the oven, they've got a bit more flavor. Sweet potato is a great one too. So give it a go of trying those different ones. Just in the blender like this, I'm gonna add the olive oil with it, some salt and pepper. And I like it kind of chunky, but you guys might like it smooth. So just blend it to as is. And um, yeah, give those veggie loaded sauces that take two minutes a go. Come on in here, let me show you how it ended up. So there is that gorgeous sauce. You can see here that I kept mine pretty old chunky, but you can smooth it up. How delicious would that look with like roasted beets or carrots? just helps you start thinking about, okay, the oven's on, we're having this, oh, we'd usually have it with sauce. Can I whack a veggie or two in there and make my own? What I've done here too is a really quick tip for you to do with your steamed veg. So uh, we buy a lot of frozen veg. This is just some knobs of butter and I've put some seeds on there. Your kids might really like like um, almond slithers. I know mine do. Um, they love cashew nuts. They like hemp seeds. They like poppy seeds. Any of those you can put on top, right? Because it's just going to boost the nutritional value of dinner and it makes it taste great. Make sure too, if you're using um, butter, that it's a salted variety. The salt, when you're eating this way and not processed food, isn't something to be too afraid of, right? We need it for our body and it helps us absorb um, our water really well. And especially these fats too, of really good quality butter, that is going to help you digest and break down your greens better as well. So not only does it make it taste better, but it's gonna be better for you. So how's that for good old chips and uh, steak? I bet the guys are gonna like this one. Make sure you um, share how they like it on Facebook. Okay, bye.